Well, let's continue that now, because if you watched last night, and it was an excellent documentary, Into the Deep, it was called, and you'll be able to still see it on Catch Up, but it's revealed the until now top secret work being done by Australian industry and the ADF to create a terrifying new underwater sea drone to arm Allied navies. Close friend of the US president has made it clear that some democracies will have a role to play in the defence of Taiwan. As a key Republican in Washington, Roger Wicker is both a friend of President Trump and the new chairman of the country's powerful Senate Armed Services Committee. When it comes to America's submarine force, he says... We are not where we need to be and we need to get back to the strength that we had as quickly as President Reagan did during the build-up in the early 1980s. It makes his view on the defence of Taiwan a valuable indication of what might be expected of allies should missiles fly in the South China Sea. The annexation by the People's Republic of China of Taiwan would, uh, would initiate a worldwide conflict. And, and I don't see how um, the, the Western allies could keep from being involved in it. How serious is the threat from China? I think it's extremely serious. Um, I, I don't believe, like the Soviets, they want to take over the world. Uh, they just want to control their part of it, absolutely. There is no doubt in my mind that operating at sea in the future will be much more lethal. And of course, Western appetite to lose people and uh, to have a body count is getting less in my mind. And therefore, the attraction of unmanned systems, both above, on the water and below the water, of course, is obvious. Sky News has revealed that behind the scenes, the Australian Defence Force has worked with Aussie company C2 Robotics to develop this top secret project. It's called Spear Tooth. It's incredibly satisfying to, to see it come to fruition, to see it, you know, doing what it's really meant to do. This uh, feels to me like what the machine gun was to World War I. It's a game changer. I do believe that is the case, yeah. Could you see a situation where it could take down an aircraft carrier? It has the ability to, to move with a, a very, very high degree of, you know, of stealth um, and, and be quite hard to detect. Tom Lovard won't give away the underwater drone secrets, but when its belly is loaded with weapons, its potential to flood a port, harbour or ocean is scarily obvious. At roughly $250,000 each, Japan, America and Great Britain have all shown interest its proof AUKUS is about more than nuclear submarines. It's about speeding up the sharing of information and equipment. PM Scott Morrison says it's one of a number of reasons why China has railed against the defence pact. Nothing has rattled the Chinese government more in the last, I'd say, 20 years or arguably longer, but certainly the last 20 years more than AUKUS. How do you know that? <laughs> you don't have to look at their reaction. With Australia's first nuclear submarine not arriving until 2032, it could well be Speartooth that spearheads Australia's maritime defence of Taiwan. Jonathan Lee, Sky News.